um o dey video we o dey hwe video say Ghana health service e nim Ghana health service e nim twa gata e da ho ti say your health service e nim ho gata we da wa we are all sick wa da akra o akra akra je form je gata em he aban aban mo 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 o power sikedie mo o power sikedie je gata o in front of Ghana Health Service, pound. In front of Ghana Health Service, it's my phone being the general. As a moon, brah, doctor, what have I? Any easy. As a moon, hey, I'm in here. Mommy, I'm in for seven. Mommy, I'm in for an air shaman. Okay, you cool, you cool, you cool, you cool. Ma ma mu yempe ni fona ya hwe mono me me di 19 years me nyini bia ma ya hwe mono hwe 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 fi amoy e me yesi ho Ghana health service e nim ho obi akokoto ho aro ne tra sabe e na wanne he So, why is Avram wrong? He was asking himself, why is Avram wrong? And I'm going to explain it. The health workers to clean up the gutter. The best thing to do is to blame the cleaning company because they are the ones that have to clean it up. Okay? But they're also a blame to the civilians. They are the ones that throw in all the garbage in the gutter. So you have to blame them too because they are the ones that doing that. The people that live there are the ones that are throwing the garbage. The young person is the one is throwing the garbage in the gutter. If the young guy have a problem with the gutter, so if you see somebody throwing garbage on the ground in the gutter, it doesn't matter. You pick it up and throw it back into, into his car. Or throw back into his house. It's fresh. If you want to create jobs, young people in Ghana, Africa, if you want to do something, do it now because right now you can do it. The government hasn't changed anything. That is what Africans don't understand. Eh? Africa is rich. You can do anything you want right now. You can start your own business, a cleaning job. You start a new job, you clean uh, uh, all the places, and you get a contract. You can do it right now. The moment the government step in with laws and that kind of stuff, then you're done. Then you cannot do that kind of stuff. Then it will be like heavy, heavy, heavy to do it. They will come with new laws and that kind of stuff. The public are the ones that should make sure that they don't throw uh, rubbish in the gutter. All this week, we're tackling one of the big issues Detroiters want fixed, blight. And we're getting some stuff done here. It is no secret Detroit is plagued by illegal dumping. It's a common sight to find vacant lots piled high with trash, old appliances, even boats. Yeah, boats. But we found something that surprised even us. In fact, officials from the city were shocked when we showed them this problem. Abandoned homes stuffed to the rafters with discarded tires. Abandoned tires piled high next to abandoned homes. Unfortunately, that's not news these days in Detroit. See this massive pile of tires outside? This is just the tip of the iceberg. You ought to see what's inside. This is news. More tires, thousands of them, packed into abandoned homes, floor to ceiling, wall to wall, upstairs, downstairs. James Carter tells me a dozen houses up and down the street are just like this one, hidden dumping grounds for discarded tires. Fire department couldn't even make it downstairs if they had to. So the, literally these tires are stuffed all the way downstairs? All the way downstairs. All the way to the top. And you won't believe who's dumping them here. So have you seen people dumping these? Yes. So who are they? Uh, local tire shops. Like I said, they don't want to pay. They got to pay for each tire to get rid of. They'd rather just dump that and keep the money in their pocket or they hire people off the street to dump it for them. Local tire shops. And as you can see, Neighbors are trying to keep up with the flood of useless rubber 
hauling tires back out to the curb one at a time. So you've actually started pulling some of these out of the garage? Yes, as you see in some in the front yard, right. but it's, it's, it's too many of them. And the city will only haul away four tires per house on bulk pickup day. Clearly, it's a losing battle. Beyond the obvious eyesore, neighbors here are worried about the danger if a fire breaks out. These piles could burn for weeks. So you've tried calling the city? Yes, we tried calling the city. We ain't getting no answer. Well, maybe Channel 7 can help James ask again. Maybe this time they'll hear him. Mayor Duggan, can you get us some dumpsters, trash bag rakes? We can clean up all the houses that you see that's abandoned, got junk in them and make the city look good. It's absolutely shocking to see that someone would actually go into these houses and just dump tires, almost like they're just kind of hiding them. Guess what? This time the city heard the complaints. City spokeswoman Alexis Wiley met me in the neighborhood, climbed over the mountain of tires, and was shocked as I was to see what was hiding inside these homes. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, this is... Thank you so much for calling. So there's no question now the city knows what's going on behind these walls. The question is, what are they going to do about it? As much we can get out to the curb, we're going to get it picked up. And we're going to have crews, a contractor, actually come along and start picking up the tires that are out here. And inside the house, we got to come up with a good solution for that. Volunteers rolled each of these tires out to the curbside from these homes. And what's going to happen now? Well, the city's going to be coming by to pick them up. That's just part of this, but it took volunteers, about 25 from area churches and community groups, coming together to at least get this process started. It's a shame that the residents of the community or those in the community feel like our community is a dumping ground, but I would say that because our community is a blessed community, we have people who are willing to eliminate the blight and to revive those things that other people don't see worth reviving. A new crackdown on people who illegally dump trash on the side of the road. Travis County Sheriff's deputies say it's plaguing rural areas all across the county. Tonight, KXAN's Omar Lewis spoke to people in one neighborhood who say they're fed up with people throwing down their trash. Wake up and find out there's couches or beds dumped in your front yard. Danny Allen has lived out on Jaeger Lane all his life. It's a street where a lot of people come to dump their trash. Most of the time it's late at night and you can hear the trucks come in. Take a look at this picture. Authorities are now looking for this man who they say was caught on camera dumping a load of trash on Jaeger Lane back in January. And in fact, the, the trash in the, in the bed of the truck in the picture was found on the side of the road. Travis County Sheriff's deputies say in rural parts of the county, sites like this are not unusual. Every year, they handle between two to 300 illegal dumping cases. But this trash is more than just an eyesore. If it's trash, it attracts vermin. In the case of a fire, it's a fuel for the fire. And it affects the school buses. Sometimes they'll drop a, a couch in the street, and the school bus has to turn around and take a different route. Allen says dumpers take their trash here to avoid paying disposal fees. But authorities say now they have a lot more to worry about. One day they'll get caught. Dispose of it properly. It'll cost you less in the long run. Omar Lewis, KXA News. Last year, the Travis County Sheriff's Office made more than 50 arrests for illegal dumping. If caught, violators could get a $4,000 fine and up to one year in jail.